when you install a package with Homebrew, where do those files actually get organized? Well, first of all, depending on the processor you're using, the directory structure will be a little different. First, let's look at how things are set up on an Intel Mac. Homebrew provides a number of useful commands to reference its important paths. The prefix is the root directory which contains everything related to Homebrew. The repository directory is where Homebrew stores its most critical files and all of the tapped formulas. The cellar is where kegs are installed. And the cask room is where casks are temporarily staged before being installed in the right place on your Mac. Finally, there's a cache, which is where downloaded files are stored. These files are safe to delete as long as the homebrew command is not running. Now let's look at an M1 Mac. The paths are similar, except both the prefix and the repository have been moved to the new op slash homebrew directory. Unlike user slash local, nothing except homebrew uses this directory, so it's safe from conflicts. Let's look at one package to see where the files are installed. We can quickly find the keg by typing brew list and then the name of the formula. Here inside the keg, we see all of the executables, supporting files, documentation, and other files belonging to the package. Now, to make these files discoverable by you and your system, Homebrew creates a number of symbolic links from the keg directory to the prefix directory. To see them, we can just run brew unlink the name of the package, and the dry run option. These are the same file names as in the keg, except each one is a symbolic link pointing to the actual file. So when you run a homebrew command in terminal, what it's actually doing is finding a symbolic link in the prefix directory, which points to the actual program files in the keg. 